Hi, welcome to the Stoke Market Flow. This is your host, Mark Flow, and I'll be reviewing the stock market and what it did today. So today we have the SPY with a um, negative 0.49% to the downside. And um, just looking at the big picture here, this is the trend um, that I've shown you in the past that I've found. And right now is at the up upper part of this trend line right here and that has been acting as support so i was looking as this particular one to be at the support my target was yeah my target was um um 416 which is where uh, it got rejected today and it looks like we may have a small pullback um, probably to the 400 or um, yeah 400 to levels um, that probably be a, um, a good good um, breather for the market and I mean as a sign of warning when the market pulls back most of the stocks sells up this is something the last two to three days so we'll see how that works out for tomorrow uh, on the other side if it doesn't pull back then the next target it's gonna be 425 let's look at the one hour for the spy and see if we can see what we see in the short term in the one hour we see that it got out of this um, channel so that's a bearish sign that means um, it's not continuing up however it's still making higher highs and and higher lows the moment that we break this 410 that's probably where we're gonna see a really rapid sell-off um, probably to the four four hundreds as long as we don't get there um, we don't know if we're gonna get here but once we cross the fourth 410 I think that's the next one will be 400 for tomorrow um, I think the sell-off is gonna keep continuing at least for the four hour looks like momentum is it's not it's not getting better um, one hour we may see a small um, back test and I guess if 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 it's if it's not gonna sell off and if we close above and we get positive momentum again then we're probably gonna continue going in an up trend for the QQ it's the same thing as well we got out of the trend a couple times ago days ago we have we did this um, small pullback to the 335 we got pop back this at this part and then now we pull back again However, we're making higher lows at this point and higher highs, so it's not totally bearish. And the moment that we break 335, I think that's where we're gonna come down and maybe come back all the way here to 320 to close these two gaps if that happens. Um, same thing with this as a spy. Uh, we have a I have a, a channel that I'm following. Well, this is a little bit longer term. But let's see if I can come back to higher time frame. No, no. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. This is where we currently are right now. We made a current. We made a higher high recently, and it closed above it. Today, it back tested previous high. And this is not a bearish sign, but it may be just a sign that we may keep going. However, like I said before, if we close below the 335, it's very possible that we come back to 320 to close this gap and then find support all the way over here. Um, momentum looks good. It got barely to the overs, um, but but not by much. So I don't. It's not like it's not as bad as the spy. Now, so this is just a small warning about the whole market. There's some hot stocks that I wanted to review um, one of them is club and club is doing its job I've been buying stock um, I've been I've been loading myself of it in this area and then today it did the breakout and now it closed above the 15 moving average this is a really strong bull signal for institutions and traders normally when it closes above the 15 moving average that's when 
some institutions that don't like to do it, um, risky trades will come in and so I can expect um, club to keep going and keep going on the momentum next target next target it's really all the way over here almost like a 12 I think so yeah so and especially if it goes into a uh, short squeeze we can expect rapid momentum here so kudos to everyone who is here um already have some shares on it which i'm pretty happy about it let's check the hour real quick in the a1 hour there's a little bit of indecision but this is more like a bull, bull flag for the short term if we can pull back a little bit to the nine nine level and then bump from there um, let's check out Fubo. Fubo is another stock that I'm really, really bullish about it. Uh, we hear the news that Fubo bought the rights for the World Cup to do the, they're going to have the stream, the exclusive rights to do the streaming of the World Cup. So even though right now that's not a big news, next year when the World Cup is on air, which is about a year from now, um, this is going to be all over the news. And then if you add up anything that Fubo does right from here to there, as far as growth in sales, maybe um, getting into the gambling uh, platform, which is something that if it does, this is going to be a rocket ship. And so I'm already in it, in the stock, I'll be buying, I already bought a few hundred shares and I'm looking to buy more if it dips. I'm pretty bullish on this. And even though right now it looks like bearish, this was a great opportunity to buy on the 17 levels. Um, I can see 20, 21 act as a support, as a resistance. So once it gets here, which can get here tomorrow, if it sells off, then um, it's very likely that it's going to come back and maybe backtest the 70 level. But I don't know. Um, this is my, my strategy with FUBU. I set it up right here. So with FUBU, I'm planning to buy at the 70 level right here. There is really not much support in here, as you can tell. Um, previously, this area has these line wicks, not very much support. I think the real supports, if I mean, especially if the spy and the QQ have a pullback, I think the real, real support is going to come right here at the 14 level and 15 level right here this is where i'm planning to go all in <laughs> yeah there is no there is no more um saving for this especially since we're going to be um finishing this consolidation that happened here previously let's look at the chart where it looks like in the high frame time frame i haven't i haven't really looked into this that much it looks noisy right here but as far as this part goes um wow this used to be a five dollar stock right here five six eight yep so if it comes down right here this part right here is going to act like a very strong support right now we were consolidating at the 20 level and that was acting as a strong support because of these wicks that we saw right here. But now that we break down to that part, it looks like we may come down over here. So right now I'm not only in, I bought some shares, but I'm saving some to buy here at this level. If anything happens, if it takes off, it takes off. I'm happy with it, but otherwise I'm buying more down here at the 14 and 13 levels. And it has great upside uh, and I think good fundamentals in my opinion this is one of the stocks that I'm bullish um, right now and I'm planning to do a lot of position now yeah in the weekly we can see that there is a negative momentum once this negative momentum stops on the weekly it's going to be a safe safe trade safe entry um, we're getting pretty close on the daily it looks like short term we may see a bounce but the weekly i think that's the one that matters the more it's 
go with Neo. Neo, like everyone, great, great company for fundamentals for the long term. In the chart, we can see there is a consolidation. Down here, I counted the waves and I, I thought this was the last wave right here. One, two, three, four, and then five. And then right now, this is um, back testing this area, 34. That's what I had it as a target. And he hit that. If you watch my previous video, you'll know that um, I was waiting for this opportunity to buy here. So I did buy some here. The RSI looks um, with positive momentum. If you look at the weekly, um, that's where we can find some problem right now. You can see that we still have negative uh, momentum on the weekly. And so that can last for some time. As you can see, um, I mean, it doesn't have to come all the way to the oversold area like it did here, like it didn't come all the way to the oversold and then it started bouncing up. But the signal will be that it starts making higher highs. And so far it is consolidating, so it's not, it's not totally bad. And I wanted to do one more, which is, let's do this night. No, AMD, let's do AMD. AMD is consolidating as well. And my thought is this is a great play as earning on the 27th, the end of the month. It has positive momentum, um, at least in the air side, the one hour. And everything I think in the, yeah. And then on the weekly one, probably finding some support as well. So it's not totally bad. What's the catalyst with this? Well, AMD stocks, uh, AMD chips have been selling like crazy. There's no stocks of AMC GPUs or Nvidia as well. So once the um, the end of the month, I think this is going to be either I would play it for a pre run before the earnings buy now and then sell some of your shares before the earnings and then or either way you can buy options right now and then once you uh, double your money you can uh, keep the ones that keep 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 your gains in there and then play your gains for for the for the for the earnings day and I think that's exactly what I'm gonna do I'm gonna if you back this this part right here I'm gonna buy some calls and then i'm gonna play it i'm gonna make hopefully some money on the way up sell uh sell my investment and then just play my gains for the earnings and then see how that goes but um that's it for now there is um other ones that i'm looking at currently this one baba it recently gap up today um, today's trying to close the gap and as you can see the gap is all the way up here the big gap I don't know if it's going to do it but meanwhile if it doesn't do it um, uh, yeah it has a strong gap right now I'm not looking to get into it right now I'm not because I think um, gaps are always risky doesn't give me a lot of security so once he fills the gap if he ever does and I think that'll be a good play uh, Palantir let's talk about Palantir what's Palantir doing yeah Palantir has been consolidating in this triangle as well today great opportunity to load look at this one two three four five break <laughs> hopefully that's how it works one two three four five break so yeah um, this is awesome right now Pretty play, good price. Everything below this is pretty good. So it's been following this consolidation. The moment it breaks, um, I can see positive momentum on the RSI. Let's look at it short here. Palantir. I have calls on Palantir. Long term calls or lips. Um, yeah, so I bought some here. Look at this, it's looking good. 21 worst case scenario. 
I have a buy limit right here, but he can take out from here. Um, the only thing that doesn't give me a lot of a lot of uh, insure, a lot of confidence is that the market may the market may um, sell up in, or not sell up, pull back in the short term. But everything indicates that we're at least going to be going um, should be getting up in the short term. Hopefully. Well, this is um, it for today. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and like the button. And if you have any suggestions about any stocks you want me to review, please put it on the comments below. Thank you for watching.